So in my classroom, I like to change the student seating arrangement about once a month. I find that it's a kind of a fresh new start for the students and they get very excited. And one thing I like for them to do is do a team building activity that I call bottoms up. And so all they're doing is putting their feet on their floor, their bottoms are up in the air and their heads are toward the middle of the table. And all they're doing is they're talking and discussing and chitting and chatting about a new team name. And this is a fun experience for all of them. I find that they all just love to pick new team names. And so sometimes students there'll be three kids at a table and one student one's a one name and three of the other students want another name so this is a really good lesson in getting along with others and so we get to talk about that at least once a month about when someone disagrees with you or wants to do something different than you what's an appropriate response we are the blue jays one two three blue jays blue jays blue jays Ready? One, two, three. While the students already know each other in class, team building activities reinforce those social behaviors that are so important in a classroom. Being kind to all, listening to everyone, letting everyone take their turn. We are the chips. Very good. One, two, three. Allowing students to interact in a positive way in your classroom can only lead to good things. Allow students to pick their own team name. Allow them to have a handshake. Give them some ownership of their group at school. Try team building in your classroom this week. Okay. This is the table Yellow Rockstars. Okay, one, two, three. Yellow Rockstars!